Oh, okay. So I just did something. The stream I had going and it just really screws up the camera. I can try turning this back on again, but it something really messes up that camera. You'll see what happens. I mean, obviously it's huge feel being thrown off, but um, this is the current across this fan. This is the voltage going into that capacitor bank. Uh, this is the voltage coming out of this power supply. Um, these meters go ballistic when this thing gets fired up. So what I did is I've got open-ended. Okay, so I've got one side of the secondary going to the bridge rectifier. The other side going to the bridge rectifier. And on the middle of the other side, where it's usually open, I put a spark gap. And this thing... Ow, zapped me. It, it goes freaking nuts. So, so here we go. I have no idea what to expect, but it got so hot, it was just throwing off crazy amounts of ozone and plasma. So it starts out slow. And then it gets, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it just starts melting. Look at that. It's getting bigger all on its own. It's building up an internal, an internal higher voltage than what I, look, now it's a sustained plasma. There it is, it's a sustained, look at that heating. Look at that heating. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta turn it off, I'm completely ruining my spark gap. Look, it completely melted it. I mean, like, oh, my fan's about to turn on. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? You see how hot that got? I mean, holy crap. It's like DC going on there. I mean, if I close it, I actually lose all my potential. And if I open it all the way, I start gaining. So that's my, my supply here. So I start gaining. Alright, and then the fan will kick on. At about 2.15 there. And then it goes back down. I don't have the system tuned. Um... Let me add two capacitors to the bridge rectifier side and see what happens over here. Okay, now I've got a single row of capacitors across where the bridge rectifier is. And I'm going to fire this thing up again here. And my goal is, you know, obviously for the power supply to heat up faster but you know the spark gap might need to be on the other side of the system I can't believe how hot that gets fan is, I mean, blowing, I could, I wonder if I need to retune the system when I do that. Okay, well, that didn't help for what I was looking for, so I'm going to add capacitors. Actually, I'm going to add a spark gap going to there this time. Okay, I don't think this is going to work how I think, but, you know. Let's fire it up, if it fires up. Nope, so it won't spark. Because the high voltage across the coil. And so, it won't work there. Uh, what I can do... Is connect it across the capacitor, so here. Okay. So now I've got capacitors across the... Um,
So I'm, I'm tuning here. I got capacitors across the other side of L2. You can see our voltage going up like nuts. Now I'm going to see if we can still get a nice spark here. We should be able to. This is across the capacitors. So. It's a little bitty thing. I need a better spark gap, but I melted this one, so, you know, what can you do? I think I gotta retune it. And look how... Look how my charge voltage is going up. And of course if I disconnect the... Uh, maybe I gotta put it between there. Let me try putting the spark gap between the capacitor bank and the output there. Uh oh, something, everything quit. Oh, that's why. It's because I shorted out the cap. Okay, let me move it there so it'll be in line with the cap bank so it'll be bridge rectifier coil um, spark gap cap bank back to the other side of the other coil and back out so don't forget I can disconnect the second half of the circuit and open loop it no problem but I'm gonna put that on the other side instead okay I've retuned the circuit so it's opened looped right now on the other side and then this gap will basically close the loop. So when it's closed all the way, um, actually I should probably tune it with it closed. Huh? Earlier I tuned it with it like this and it, it wasn't happy. But now we've got a plasma going. Now I'm gonna. Oh, there it is. Man, I can't believe how hot how fast that gets. It doesn't really help my output voltage like I was expecting though. Oh, it's sparking on the inside there. Look at that. How quiet it is there now we're going up but I can't believe how hot that gets look at that look at that that's tungsten that's tungsten carbide now look technically the most amount of energy I'm gonna turn all this stuff off the most amount of energy You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one more time. Try putting it there. The most amount of energy I can get out of this amplifier is about 65 watts with this current setup. Now the fan's gonna kick on here in a second once this voltage comes up. And then once it comes up, we'll start firing it and see what happens. There it goes. This will keep it cool maybe, huh? I mean, it's not really helping here, but you can see those spikes. Oh, man, they're too fast, you can't even see them. Oh, it's sparking on the inside again. <laughs> Alright, well, the point is, is I thought this spark would help the charge but it might be in the wrong place on the wrong side
But that's okay. We're having fun. There it goes. Oh, the fan quit though. That's incredible. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, today's date, um, for the record, 9-28-2017. 8 in the a.m. Yep, playing for this stuff before I go to work. Okay, bye-bye. Crazy. So, I don't know if you can generate that much heat with 65 watts, but maybe I should turn this into an electrolyzer cell, which has been discussed before. <laughs> Too much right now, but anyway, just discussing fun ideas. 65 watts input, heating up tungsten, um, that high of, of, of output. I have no idea. And I'm running that fan in the power supply, but it's pretty weak. Very weak, actually. All right, peace out. God bless. Have a good day. Bye-bye.